Today we're talking about second grade math. Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and today I want to give you a look into the good and the beautiful Simply Math 2. When we started homeschooling, we did not start with the good and the beautiful math because honestly, they, we knew not, I don't even know if the good and the beautiful had a company at the time that I started homeschooling 10, well, since 2012. And so when they, we were using Singapore math and we were using other maths, we had tried like every type of math. Um, but when they came out with the good and the beautiful math, I had one last little child who was the perfect age and I said, you know what, we're gonna try the math. So we tried the pre-K math and I fell in love with it. Mostly because my daughter loved it. She enjoyed the colorful pages, she enjoyed the games and the activities, she enjoyed doing her math lessons every day. In fact, when she started the pre-K course book and the first grade one, she would do multiple lessons in one day. So it hasn't changed in math two. The lessons are still engaging. She is learning so much. She is really good at math now and this is the only math that she has ever used. And she has a really good understanding of numbers from everything that she's learned from the good and the beautiful math. The lessons are quick. She never gives me a hard time to do them. And she really enjoys the pages and the colorful games and all the things that they have in here. So today I just wanna open this up. I just wanna show you the little box that it comes with, with the little goodies inside, and show you what it looks like on the inside. And then in a future video, I may have already made one, um, but when it's done, it'll be posted here. I will show you a do a lesson. Actually, I did not make that video yet, but I'm gonna do a video, a do a lesson with me video so you can see exactly how a lesson is done. So let's jump into the book. I also wanna say that I was skeptical about buying this one because I really liked the older Good and the Beautiful Maths. They were long, but they had a lot of good games and things like that, which we, around here somewhere, I still have the whole unit of all the games. So when we went into the second grade, when my daughter finished her first grade math, we tried the Good and Beautiful Simply Math 1. I really started to really like how quick the lessons were and how much she was learning from it and realized that she didn't need everything that the older maths had. So I was actually happy that, we end, that they ended up switching it over. We do use some of the games from the older math, but it doesn't take an entire like 45 minutes to finish the lesson like it used to because this is teaching just as well and the lessons are about 20 minutes and sometimes less. Okay, so now let's get into the book. So it has 120 lessons, so if you were to do math four days a week, like we do a co-op one day a week and we do school four days a week, you could get this done in about seven and a half months, which is a perfect amount for a school year and even have a summer break. So first let's look inside the math box, little wooden box here. Calls for lessons on time, they would use the clock here to tell the time, then it slides open. And inside you have five compartments, so on one. We've only used these so far, so these are open. You have these little chips, and these are used for their games. You have stars on one side, and you have some numbers on the other side. Um, you also have these airplanes that are for games and activities in the course. You have different types of airplanes, a helicopter, a rocket. In this baggie here, we have two dice. Three, actually. You have one that's numbered. So it's one to 10. And you have these that have fractions on them. This has the fraction shapes. And this one has the numbers. You also have some play money here, and you have a bag of play coins. So they look like actual coins, but they don't feel like it at all. All right, in unit one, you have spelling numbers, you have some skip counting, tally marks, some subtract, subtraction strategies, some time, you have, and some calendar stuff, and then, and some rounding. And then in unit two, we have expanded form, we have measurement, 
we have some more time we have some fact families we have some fraction and money and more rounding and then in unit three we have counting and writing in the thousands so more subtraction and regrouping missing numbers expanded form money practice then we have dividing we get into dividing rounding polygons fractions and then we start multiplication and weight and then at the end of every unit you get a unit assessment and then you have unit four where we have tally charts and plotting and graphs and medians and centimeters and a bunch of measurement type things some more fractions and additions and shapes um, you have angles and lines and perimeters and area and lots of big kid things that don't look like it should be second grade <laughs> So if you want to know how long the lessons take, it says it takes about 20 to 25 minutes per person. So they say that our thorough piloting program proved that most children in grade two thrive with having 20 to 25 minutes a day of math. If you wanted to know if it was spiral or mastery, it says it's a spiral curriculum constantly reviewing concepts the child has learned to ensure that they understand and retain the information. Just so you guys know, there is no doctrine of any particular Christian denomination in this curriculum. It just teaches general principles such as honesty, hard work, and kindness. And all Bible references use the King James Version and that is it. it. Tells you where to get an answer key as well. So every unit overview starts like this. It tells you how many lessons there are in it and all the extra supplies that you're gonna need for the entire unit. You get some tips here for the teacher and then you have all the new concepts that are gonna be taught for the entire unit. Okay, and so the lesson, I mean, this doesn't look like the most fun and colorful lesson, the first one, but let's skip into something that's cuter. So first you have a little review section, and that's gonna be in the yellow box in the beginning of each lesson. So see, sometimes they're mental math activities, sometimes it's just a little review of whatever they learned before. Then you're gonna have your lesson. So it tells you exactly what to say. You read it to the child. It gives you your examples. And then you, they have a couple of problems to do there. And then they're gonna have their worksheet. So here's the, the kind of like the word problem. And then here's the work that they would have to show. And then after that, this is the new concept, then they have independent review. So this is gonna be some concepts that they learned before to make sure that they understand it. So every day you get your mental math or your intro, you get your lesson, you get your worksheet, and then you have your independent review. I'm just gonna skim through some pages here so you can see what it looks like inside, really cute. They make the activities fun. So instead of listing subtraction problems, they turn it into a maze or turn it into some sort of game. So it's not just like a list of boring problems. Instead, you have a little game here that you can do for every worksheet. And some games even have a little story to make it more interesting for your child. That's the good and the beautiful Simply Math 2. I'm gonna thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.